What's going on guys? This is Dan with a Cedar Point update here. And not a very good one, if that. So, as you guys found out earlier in the summer, Cedar Point is having the $99 Gold Pass, which pretty much gives you the more or less the same rights as a Platinum Pass does. Minus the ability to go to other parks, although it does get you into Cedar Point Shores, but doesn't get you in the Kings Island or any park owned by the Cedar Fair franchise. So, here is my question. Did Cedar Fair screw the pooch on the Gold Pass? The reason why I ask is because yesterday, at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, for the first time since the park has been open, Cedar Point has had to turn away people entering their park because the park was that full. Wrap your head around that. That I've been in the park where the main lot's been full, side lot's been full, people parking in the grass, people parking wherever they can find parking, people parking in Camper Village, people parking at Cedar Point Shores. But I've never seen them turn away people. Yesterday, they turned away people. What is responsible for all this? It's today is the 20th of October. Car says it's 64 degrees outside, which is kind of unusually warm for October in northern Ohio. And to me, one of the main things is the gold pass. So, if this is any indicator of how next summer is going to be. Cedar Fair is going to make a lot of money on fast lane passes because last weekend I came up here with the fast lane plus pass and I still waited two hours to ride Steel Vengeance. So I'm not a fan of the Gold Pass. I'm just not. I honestly I think it's a horrible idea because the main thing the park has is too much weight. It is a great park. It is probably the best amusement park in the world, but this Gold Pass to me really isn't a good idea. I feel like they kind of shot themselves in the foot because now all the lines are going to be excessive, even worse than what they were this summer. I still haven't heard anything on what the, their big announcement for 2020 is. God, I hope it's not the Gold Pass because I don't know that I'm I'm just not a fan. But that's that's just me. We they still have that land by where Sandcastle Suites were, so maybe we could see something being built there. I don't know. Um, but. Just walking out of the park today, because me and my son were in the park at 10 o'clock today, and it's 12.30, we just did all the little kid rides. Leaving here, there is an ocean of people getting into the front gate. This is, this is, this is insane. So, that's what I got so far. Leave your comments down below. If you're new to the channel, like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next video. Have a good day and night wherever you are.